It's a fairly basic requirement of being a local government councillor is that you get out and about and you look at the roads in your local area. Now, people have been reporting to me a number of roads in the Oakville and Moralia area, which I'd probably regard as my home turf, and I've gone out today and I've taken a lot of footage to see if there is uh, any way I can expedite repairs to certain roads. Here's what I found. Council is working its way through an enormous backlog of infrastructure works caused by the impacts of fire, floods and COVID-19. At the moment, we're projecting that we've got $240 million of asset restoration to undertake under natural disaster funding arrangements within the next three years. This includes $11.2 million of specific pothole funding announced by the previous coalition government in January 2023. There are a huge number of roads in the Oakville and Moralia and Vineyard area alone that are in dire need of attention. At the head of Schofield Road and the junction of Old Pitt Town Road, road barricades intended to close the road for all traffic except local traffic is just left strewn across the road. I have reported this road on several occasions to council staff and have yet to receive a final report on why it hasn't been repaired yet. Fisher Road at Moralia was reported by a number of local residents as being of concern and when I approached a particularly dangerous curve on that road I could see why. This has also now been reported to council staff. Council has a customer service response standard for the reporting of damaged roads, footpaths, curbs and gutters. If you report one of these issues to Council, if it's of high risk, it should be addressed within a day. And if it's of relatively lower risk, it should be addressed within a couple of weeks. Development in the Vineyard Stage 1 area has created enormous difficulties for local residents and traffic because of heavy vehicles and construction. Menon Road and Commercial Road have borne the brunt and continuous heavy vehicle traffic has caused significant fraying of the road edge. The bottom end of Commercial Road near Brennan's Dam Road and Old Stockroot Road at Vineyard has never been sealed. I asked Council to cost the sealing of that road some time ago. I was able to secure funding for Brennan's Dam Road and Old Stockroot Road and I will continue to advocate for the sealing of Commercial Road. <laughs>